pay YouTube it's phone viewer. Um it's all in the title. iPhone 3GS overheating. Um there's a question mark after it because we don't really know if it's true. Personally, I don't have a 3GS, so that's why I don't know if it's true. But CNN has had a couple people come on their um, news report, and those people obviously had a 3GS. And they complained that um, a person with the black one, it keeps on overheating. And then the woman with the white one, it's overheating. Plus, it's kind of changing colors in the corners. So... Even before this ha this um, problem occurred, I put up a video, which I'll put right there in this box, reasons why you should not upgrade to the 3GS, besides the overheating problem. You know, it's just ridiculous. Um, and Apple, Apple said, blame the customers. They, their specific words. Oh, it's the customer's fault because they, because we have so much, um, users on an iPhone. They blamed their own customers. All we did was buy their product. We have nothing to do with it. Overheating and especially changing colors. What kind of excuse is that, Apple? You know, I'm, I don't, I don't hate Apple. I have an iPhone myself. I have, I have an iPod Touch. I have a, the first iPod ever made. You know, I'm an Apple fan, you know? But really, what they what they said just really ticked me off, and I don't I don't like it. Um, and what? Look, I even look, I even have this Nano right here. This Nano, I have um the 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 second generation Nano upstairs. Um, then the third generation Nano I gave to my aunt. I gave my iPod Touch to my mom. I kept my iPhone, duh. I kept my iPhone. But, you know, I'm an Apple fan, but come on. What, what is this? I, um, um, the reason why this is happening, um, on the new iPhone 3GS, um, is because they kept the same slim design, but impacted more more chips and wires to make these new features so there's like little, very little space very little space to put all these chips and wires for the new video recording compass voice control all that and when you, when you use it a lot it tends to heat itself it tends to heat itself like it has its own brain uh, okay here I'll put it in a different pers perspective let's say you have a mini fridge you're on vacation and your hotel room comes with a little mini fridge. Okay? And let's say you bring, I don't know, 50 items, 50 items to put in your fridge. What do you think is going to happen? There's no space. What is it going to do? It's just going to heat. It's, it's, it's going to keep open. All these little problems, it's, it's just ridiculous. So, here's the link to my other, um, right here in this box, right there. Here's the link. Just click the box on the video for other reasons why you should not upgrade to the 3GS besides the overheated problem. So, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Now, the thing is, the question that everyone's wondering is, will Apple give everyone their money back? take their old iPhone 3GS and make a recall. Will they make a new iPhone 3GS? Maybe a, just a little thicker? Just like a like a hair thicker? Just to, you know, fix the problem? The overheating problem? Um, yeah. You know, luckily I didn't buy the 3GS because, you know, I already have the 3G and it's not worth up, you know, spending my time, money, you know, just to get the same identical phone with Two, two minor features. I basically consider them minor features. You know, I have a, I have a video camera, you know, and I don't really care for the voice control or the compass. I can just download a compass application. And plus, I already have the 3.0 on my iPhone 3G. So really, I don't need the 3GS. Yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope I hope this video is useful to you. Please rate five stars, comment, and subscribe to this video.
um, go on my channel, you know, check it out, add me as a friend if you want to, um, and remember, appropriate comments. See you guys later, thanks for watching.